Welcome to the top 40 Air Force Ones of 2022. Hello, 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 and yes, this is the top 40 Air Force Ones of 2022. All of the shoes mentioned in this video, as you will see, are part of my collection. All of them are in hand, and they all dropped within the year 2022. These are my favorite pairs which released. Obviously, I wasn't able to pick up everything, so some of your favorites, or some pairs which you expect to be in this list, might not be there there could be some honourable mentions. Let me know in the comments if I've missed out some of your favourite pairs. But let's start off with number 40. So yes, for me, number 40 is the Air Force One Fresh. As you can see, I did wear this one quite a bit and it is looking far from fresh. The promises on the inside of that tongue were not lived up to, in my opinion. That toe box is very, very creased and the leather is just your normal GR leather. It was nice to see a clean leather insole and sock liner and stuff like that. But aside from that and the spare laces, this pair was nothing really to write home about. Number 40, the Air Force One Fresh. Number 39, Air Force One Color of the Month, Chocolate. So this is the brown swoosh pair not my favorite. The other pairs in the pack are just better than this one. This is not a bad shoe. I think the brown was a little bit too dark and it would have been nice to have a gum sole and stuff like that, but yeah, this one was fairly weak in my opinion. The weakest of the color of the months that um, I'm talking about today, but yeah, there are better pairs, better pairs in the pack and we shall showcase them later. Number 39, color of the month, chocolate. Number 38, college pack. This is the navy one. Not a bad shoe at all. I did like the midsole outsole combination with that nice sail and um, gum brown and the color blocking is pretty decent. Not a favorite of mine but it is a decent pair. That sock liner as well is really really nice and yeah it's it's a pretty good shoe. The leather wasn't too bad. It's nice, it's clean, it works. Double swoosh. How can you go wrong? Number 38, college pack, sail navy. Number 37, cargo khaki, cut out swoosh. Not a bad pair, the suede was okay. Well, actually no, it wasn't that good in my opinion, but the color was nice and that black outsole midsole combination was pretty nice. The reflective swoosh is what swayed me to this pair. I did like it. And yeah, it just works, works really well. A solid, solid pair, quite autumnal. Number 37, cargo khaki, cut out swoosh. Number 36, undefeated Celestine Blue Wild Berry. This pair wasn't bad. It's just too many greens on this one, in my opinion. It was nice to joker around the toe, the sail gum midsole, very, very nice and that swoosh, that Celestine Blue swoosh is really good. And I'm very fond of that peach as well, that peach color on the foxing. But other than that, this was the weakest pair of the pack, of the undefeated pack. And yeah, you know, there was, yeah, there's just better shoes that have released this year. Nice patent leather though, but yeah, a little bit weak. Number 36, Celestine Blue Wildberry Undefeated. Number 35, Uno. A very, very colorful one, but the color is just, it's just a little bit weird in my opinion. It is a good shoe, but it's a weird one. Would you really wear these? It looks good on the, um, on the mantelpiece or something like that, but there's a lot going on. But I did like the playfulness, the creativity, the four pairs of laces that you get extra with this one. So I did like it, but yeah. Number 35, Uno. Number 34, Slam Jam. Again, not a bad pair, pretty clean. Pretty clean, clean upper, nice little details about, but I think the double lacing was a little bit congested um, in the middle of the shoe, but it was nice to see that oval Dubray. A little bit tame, um, 
but you know there were were some nice details on this one but it was a little bit reserved for a collaboration especially from slam jam you would have thought they would have done a little bit more on this one but still a solid decent pair number 34 slam jam number 33 certified fresh this is the sale colorway solid solid pair in my opinion again clean plain a bit reserved but it works well and i think it worked a little bit better than the slam jams the upper is very very nice got nice well okay quality suede but nice colors and the twill material the swoosh that looks painted a very very decent shoe obviously shout outs to the green pair and some of the other pairs that i didn't get a chance to review leave a comment if you picked up a pair of certified fresh Number 33, Certified Fresh. Number 32, Colour of the Month, University Blue. Again, not a bad pair, but the hype and, well not really hype, but the anticipation surrounding this pair really preceded it and, you know, it really felt like this was going to be a really, really good shoe. But in person, it's just not that special in my opinion. I don't know if it's the shade of blue or what, what it is. Maybe the leather could have been better. It's not bad, but it just could have been so, so much better in my opinion. And I think a lot of other people agree. This one, it had so much potential. The pictures looked really good, but in hand, it's just mm, not bad. Again, it's not the color of the month brown, but we just expected so much more from this pair. Number 32, color of the month, University Blue. Number 31, we have the undefeated Smoke Gray Topaz Gold. Solid pair, nice patent leather, that gray around the toe and that sail combines for a nice neutral tone and then that rush of color going throughout the shoe is really, really good. There's just been better pairs that have released this year. This is a solid pair. Number 30, Cutout swoosh, blue. So this cutout swoosh was an interesting one. It got that little swoosh cut out of the um, bigger swoosh and I really like this one. I don't know why. The blue is just so bold. The swoosh is enlarged to accommodate the um, removal of the little swoosh and it remains that large on the medial as well. I just really like this one. Really, really like this one for some reason. It's one of those playful ones, um, you know, a little bit gimmicky, but I like this. I really did like this one. This one also came in white and black as well. I didn't pick up those. I picked up these, and I think this was the better colorway. Number 30, Air Force One, cutout swoosh. Number 29, Carabiner swoosh. So this one, another one of the gimmicky Air Force Ones, but I really like this one again. The carabiner swoosh had that quality to the carabiner. It's actually functional. That pomegranate or whatever color the Dubre is and that um, carabiner was really, really nice. And that hidden detail of the tongue um, where you can put things in it. I really, really liked it. Decent, decent pair. Something that, you know, it draws conversation. You'll laugh about it. What what more do you want? I really did like this pair, the Carabiner Swoosh Air Force One. This also came in black. That pair was horrible, but this one was really good in my opinion. Number 29, Air Force One, Carabiner Swoosh. Number 28, Air Force One Jumbo Swoosh. This one was in that Vivid Sulfur colorway, that yellow colorway, a very, very nice one. The swoosh, just so vivid. Just so nice, rotund, look at it. I really did like this one and I love that the lenticular material, really nice. Um, the, the materials of the shoe could have been better, admittedly, but it's just that solid, solid yellow. It's just really nice, really nice and vivid. A shame about the red pair. I think the red pair was pretty good, but just not as good as the yellow pair, so that's why this one comes in at number 28. Air Force One Jumbo Swoosh. Number 27, Air Force One Mid Fruit Bowl. This is one of two mids that are featuring in this list. This one was solid. 
really really nice the colors just yeah man it was just all me i really liked it that lemon kind of um, effect around the toe and the different kind of colors materials the swoosh with that pink Ah, oh, I love this one. Even came with nice accessories as well. It came with like a fruit bag as well with a swoosh on it. Yeah, this one was solid. Look at the tongue tab. Oh man, I, I remember this dropping. I was like, yes, this was a must cop for me. Nice, colorful. What more do you want? Number 27, Air Force One Mid Fruit Bowl. Number 26, Year of the Tiger. This one right here, I almost forgot about them. They came and they sat around for a little bit and they went, but the upper is just so clean. It's always risky with a canvas upper, but the little drops of color, the swoosh, that satin kind of swoosh and all of that, just really works well on this pair. A solid, solid pair, quite underrated. Not much talk or hoo-ha about this one, but yeah, solid, solid pair in my opinion. Number 26, Year of the Tiger Air Force One. Number 25, Sail Malachite. This one right here really does represent the 40th anniversary. We saw it so much um, advertised and all of that. This is the shoe, I think, of the anniversary. And, you know, the colours, they work well. Initially, I was like, I'd rather a white upper with a Sail midsole, but you always get that usually so the flip is really good that green that malachite really works well and as i said before this one represents the 40th anniversary big up jvsop and the sturdy crew shout out jb as well um i know they got their hands on a few pairs of these representing and you know celebrating the 40th anniversary with the sturdy off crew really really nice to see representation really nice to see the air force one celebrated properly air force one sail malachite coming in at number 25 number 24 spring pastel this was a really really nice one um the level was okay pretty decent um it's just those nice pastel colors worked really really well on this one they came they went another nice pair in my opinion nice neutral well not really neutral tones but nice really really nice colors and a variation of colors as well and it just all works so nicely number 24 spring pastel number 23 winter pastel so this one similar to the spring pastels but i just think that this one was a little bit better it was a little more neutral a little more reserved but the colors are just so so good on this one it really does look like a nice winter picture it's just you know the trees snow on the trees snow everywhere this looked really really nice that gold tone outsole as well it's not gum it's not really sale just got yeah man it's just really really nice and i really did appreciate and like this one let me know what you think do you even remember this one number 23 winter pastel number 22 sail join forces so this one had a lot going on but that neutral that white tone just just gave it a nice blanket over it and it just made it look really really nice in my opinion the dual swoosh normal swoosh combination very very different the little spots of red the pivot point yeah i really did like this one and this one had that block in which i prefer the white and then the sail uh, midsole but yeah i did like this one Join forces coming in at number 22. Coming in at number 21, we have the white pythons. This one's more wintry than the winter pastels. The effect of the materials, the toe box is really nice, that leather, but the effect around the toe box and on the toe, that kind of etched material, I don't even know what it is. It's like a suede, but it's like sort of, just etched a little bit, a little bit worn. I really did appreciate that one. We saw this one, I think, in 2021, and we were, you know, waiting eagerly for this one. And then when it came out, it didn't disappoint. It didn't come out to a lot of hype or anything like that, but a solid pair nonetheless. A very, very nice one. 
It might have slipped under your radar. It didn't slip under mine though. Number 21, the Air Force One White Python. Number 20, we have the Stussy Mid. This is the black and white colorway. I think that this was the best of the three colorways. Definitely better than the black one. That one was a little bit boring. And that canvas sale one weren't bad, but yeah, there was other better shoes that released this year. And yeah, this one really, really nice. Obviously, it's the sort of panda colorway, as everybody says, but the quality of the materials is really, really good. The leather's so nice, sumptuous, real good quality, a really, really nice shoe. And yeah, solid pair, solid pair, in my opinion. Number 20. Stussy Mid, black and white. So for number 19, we have the Air Force One Color of the Month, blue. The blue swoosh one, really, really good pair, solid pair in my opinion. The blue is so vivid. The gum outsole, nice white leather upper. The shape is really nice, really, really good pair in my opinion. It just works so well. Color of the Month, blue for number 19. For number 18, we have the color of the month, red. Both of these, the blue and the red, released on the same day. It's pretty difficult to pick one over the other. I think the red one's slightly better. The leather is a little bit better on the red one than the blue one. And I don't know, some days I prefer red over blue, some days I prefer blue over red, but both are quite interchangeable in my opinion on the placing, but today I'm feeling that this one is number 18. A solid, solid pair in my opinion, really, really good. Number 18, color of the month, red. Number 17, black, light crimson. This one is another one of the cutout swoosh Air Force Ones with that reflective swoosh, really, really nice. The black upper, I love the color, hated the materials, but it's just those little light crimson details that really made this one pop. I really, really like this one. A solid, solid pair. Very, very nice. And this is this was up my street. Like this, when I first saw this, I was like, yes. <laughs> yes, this is the one for me. Number 17, Air Force One. Black, light, crimson. So for number 16, I decided to include some buy use. So this was the first buy you option. I believe that this option dropped in February and you could do an anniversary Air Force One. Very, very nice. Anniversary Air Force One on the buy you option. So I didn't cover these on the channel. I didn't do any reviews of these, but I did make an all white pair with a gum outsole with a little bit of black on the midsole. The leather, oh, really, really nice, um, really, really good. And on this one, I've done a Tiffany colorway and you could use a metallic leather and that's what I used on the toe box and on the mid panel and the swoosh. And again, the leather is really, really nice on this one. So if you've done a buy you on that option, the one that dropped in February, I believe, um, yeah, I believe that that is a number 16, Nike buy you anniversary edition. Number 15, again, another naughty one. This is a Bayou option. This is the current Bayou option, I believe. And this one contained a contained the same lever as the previous option, but instead of the metallic, you could get this satin, sateen um, material, which is really, really nice. And I just believe that that makes this option a little bit better than the previous one. You could also use canvas as well, but um, yeah, I believe that this for me was slightly better than that previous option. You didn't get the anniversary tag on the tongue, however, but the level was pretty much the same. You did get the additional materials over that metallic lever. So that's why I put these, the Nike by you at number 15. Back to playing fair and we have number 14, the Air Force One World Champ. So this was the black one and I prefer this one over the white pair. This pair is so good, so, so good. As you can see, I've been in this pair for the majority of the year since they came out. I really, really like this pair. The new buck, the white stitching, really, really nice. The patent leather swoosh. Little details, the gold details, yeah, this was all me, all me. 
I remember back in school having a pair of Air Max 90s with this same kind of colorway. Solid, solid pair in my opinion. So that's why these are number 14, the Air Force One World Champ. Incoming at number 13, we have the Air Force One Undefeated Total Orange. Such a phenomenal pair, this one right here. Really, really good. The patent leather upper, as with all the undefeateds that released this year. That bubble gum around the toe, outsole, bling, 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 bling. Really good. And that swoosh, so vivid, so orange. Really, really nice swoosh. Really, really nice details on this one. One of the best from the undefeated pack. Number 13, undefeated, total orange. Number 12, love you forever. Drake, CLB, certified lover boy. Solid, solid pair, nice quality upper, nice details. Moving that air around to the medial to accommodate love you forever on the midsole, naughty. When, when do you do that? I've never, ever seen that. Different, really, really different. A nice pair, real, real good. And, you know, it's just a nice take on a staple. Knock to Brandon as well, you know, a really, really nice collaboration. And it's Drake's best shoe yet. Number 12, Nocta, Drake, Air Force One, certified lover boy, love you forever. Number 11, we have the Feel Free Let's Talk. Really, really nice shoe in my opinion. Lots of, of colour, lots going on, but it just works so, so well. A great message held in the shoe as well. What more do you want? This was a really, really good one. Quite underrated, still available. Really, really nice. Air Force One. Feel Free Let's Talk coming in at number 11. Coming in at number 10, we have the Air Force One have a Nike day. This one right here just fills me with joy, fills me with happiness. It's clean, it's plain. Just the swoosh is different and that heel tab. And that heel tab just gives it a, just a bit of vibrancy to it. I don't know why I like these so much. They go with everything. Anything you need to wear, these, you just drop these and they work well. Plain, Simple, nice, eye-catching, a little star on the medial. Ah, oh, man. This one brought me so much joy, so many memories in this pair. I really, really like this pair, and I don't know why, but yeah. This one, for me, top 10. Number 10, have a Nike day, Air Force One. Number nine, we have the West Indies Retro. Really, really good pair, really, really good. Obviously it's a retro, but they done it well. They made it stand up to the retro, practically identical. They done one little twist with the anniversary logo on the tongue tab, clean, really, really nice. This is one of those ones that I doubled up on. Very, very solid, solid pair and a nice one for the 20th anniversary. Air Force One, West Indies. Coming in at number nine. Coming in at number eight, we have the Air Force One Color of the Month, white. So this was the first pair of the Color of the Months to drop. Very, very nice upper. The leather is really good. Really, really solid, solid pair. Just giving that twist to the Air Force One as we know it now, throwing it back to the OG. Solid, solid colorway. Real, real good take on the staple. Nice details. The clean, plain canvas, just reimagined, revisited for the anniversary. Solid, solid, solid pair. And that's why this pair is number eight. Color of the month, white. Coming in at number seven, we have the Air Force One Pink Nebula. Loads of details that I loved on this one. The snake skin, the swoosh, but that gradient midsole is what threw it for me. As this is a women's pair, I didn't think I'd be able to get a pair, but I ordered the largest size, had to make sure and took out that insole and lo and behold, they fit. <laughs> so yeah, this was a must have for me. Really, really good. I think this was the pair that introduced the, well, reintroduced the brown and orange box, the real classic, 
which has you know kicked off the celebrations for the 40th anniversary a solid solid pair nonetheless really really good in my opinion let me know your thoughts is has this been ranked too high number seven air force one pink nebula for number six we have the sneakers day air force one yeah this one was proper this one was proper that upper really really nice the hemp's the weaves, the different kind of materials, canvas, you name it, it was there. Wooden dubrays, wooden details, wooden aglets, the brown swoosh leather, maybe a little bit too dark, but on this one, it just works well. It just works well, better than on the Air Force One color of the month chocolate. Solid, solid pair, really, really good. You could tell that there was a lot of work put into this one. A really, really nice pair. Number six. Air Force One, Sneakers Day, fifth anniversary. Coming in at number five, we had the Air Force One Chili. This one right here, again with the gradient midsole, similar to the Pink Nebulas, but we had gradient suede panels as well. This kind of yellowish pair, yellowish leather, really, really nice, a solid, solid pair in my opinion, of course really really good i didn't think that these would be good seeing the pictures but when i grabbed them in hand absolutely blown away really really good pair really really good solid 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 pair in my opinion and that's why these the air force one chili comes in at number five coming in at number four we have the air force one color of the month pink this pair right here Oh my goodness, super, super clean white upper, that pink swoosh and the gum. The way the pink and the gum just go so well together, really, really nice. This is the best of the color of the month so far. Really, really good. S ah, sumptuous, sumptuous pair, top notch. As I said, that pink, the shade of it, perfect. They didn't do too light where it could be could be overlooked, missed. They didn't do too dark. They didn't do a hot pink. The perfect pink and a nice gum sole on a white upper. Yeah, this one was certified. Top, top notch. Number four, color of the month, pink. For number three, we had the Air Force One Little Accra. What a pair. Majestic, regal. Look at it. Such a solid, solid pair and very, very underrated. Not much talk about them, but it doesn't matter. They're appreciated right here. That satin kind of material around the toe and the fox in, such a nice, nice pair. And then that shiny sort of um, satin swoosh as well. The gold stitching, yeah, this one was really, really proper. Very underrated, overlooked, nice details. This is why this, the Air Force One Little Accra, comes in at number three. Coming in at number two, we have the Air Force One Evo Moment 37. What a pair. Wasn't even supposed to be released this year. It was pushed back and then sort of slyly shoehorned into the outlets. But they came out, they released this year. Receipts will say it came out this year. This was a certified pair. Really, really good. Nice details, clean upper. The combination on the back of the tongue, you know, representing Daigo's inputs. What a pair. What a fantastic pair. That kind of blur effect as well. Little metallic bits as well, representing the parries and all of that. <coughs> certified, certified pair. Definitely the second best Air Force One to drop in 2022, in my opinion. Number two, the Air Force One Evo Moments 37. And finally, number one, the Air Force One undefeated Pink Prime. This shoe right here, immense, special, such a, oh my goodness. When I took these out of the box, I remember the first time I was like, wow, yeah, yeah, this is proper. This is proper. The colors all work well. So loud. The greens, 
brown and blue. Who would have thought brown and blue went together so well? On this pair, perfect. Perfect. The swoosh as well. That pink prime swoosh. Really, really vivid. Translucent. Against a black and purple patent leather. Oh my goodness. This one, yeah. This one is shoe of the year. Undefeated have done it again. Shoe of the year for 2022. The Air Force One, undefeated. Pink Prime is my number one of the year. 40 pairs of Air Force Ones. Which ones were your favorites? Which ones didn't you like? Which ones do you think should have made the list? As I said, these are the best of the best which I reviewed in um, this year. And these are part of my collection. But let me know your thoughts. Did I miss something? Was there a pair that you wanted to come out and didn't come out? Or maybe you have a nice ID option to show us all. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know everything. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing, sharing your thoughts. Obviously, this is a really, really long video, so I appreciate every comment, every super chat or whatever you send to me. It has been a blast this 2022, and it couldn't, be, couldn't have been done without you guys supporting and sharing and everything like that. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I've been Scopes, signing out. See ya.